Alright folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim and today I have another seed video for you. Um, so if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that the Valheim content I mostly concentrate on is seed discoveries. And I focus on finding maypoles. Now, quickly about maypoles, they are not required to play Valheim. You do not need a maypole. In addition to that, if you went into the cheap uh, console, you can build your own maypole. Also, um, last year in May, I believe, um, the developers unlocked maypoles to be built anywhere that you want. So, it, you, you can pretty much <laughs> build them anytime you want. However, maypoles are unique items found in the world, and they're not found on every world. And Part of the content I do on my channel is, is I try to seek out good locations that have maypoles. And I have another one of those for you today. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you. So... This is fairly straightforward. Um, we are here. So this is approximately, what, I would say 7 o'clock to the um, spawn. Now, th this is on the same island, and here's the maypole right here, okay? Um, right in the center of the camp, so it's not super close to the water. Um, you've got a little, it, it, there's a little um, bay right here, um, not great. But I'm going to show you in a minute one of the best highlights of this particular location. Number one, I mean, you've got a two-star boar right here, which is fantastic. Um, that's great. I don't know if you'll get that on your st on when you start your uh, seed, but if you do, that's fantastic. That's about the best you're going to get. Um, you've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've got nine, ten raspberry bushes right around the maypole. So that's also pretty good. We only have one building here, but that's really all you need to get started. And this maypole is overlooking a fairly good size um, water. You can make a port here. It's not bad. Now, what is the best part about this maypole? Number one is you've got a boar stone right here, which is fantastic. And, you know, you've got um, easy, easy meat right here. And there's a couple of one-star boars on this one. That's great. If you've noticed over here in the distance on this island, over here, I thought this was another boar stone, but I was wrong. Um, I thought that was a boar stone. We'll check the map in a minute. Um, overall, this is a decent location. Um, I think you're going to be able to build uh, a decent dock. You're going to have to go that way. I don't think you're going to be able to make it through there unless you go over and clear that rock. Um, then you can. Um, defensible position, it's okay. I mean, you've got this cut in right here. I suppose you could build your moat right around there. I'm not really sure how you'd want to do that. So I usually, if the maypole were here, that would be fantastic, right? So you build a nice little camp, build a, build a trench, and you've got a highly defensible position. But it's pretty set back. I think it's decent. Anyways, let's take it the take a look at the Valheim map world generator. So here you go. Here's the spawn and here's the maypole that we're at. Okay. Now the good news is is you've got plenty of dark forest resources down here. You've got mountain resources which connect to some uh, swamps, which connects to some plains. I mean, this starter island is is pretty solid. Um, You've got just about everything that you need here in terms of biomes, so that's fantastic. Bosses, pretty good in my opinion. Um, the Elder is over here. You can, I'm pretty sure you can make it over really quickly via these islands. I'm guessing you can swim over here. Those are the islands we just took a look at. You, you know that if you've looked at this map generator before and then you've actually been in the world, these are actually a lot closer together. So I think this is um, walkable. And then boom, you've got the Elder, you've got Motor. You're doing pretty good. Um, 
Bone Mass is over here. That's a little bit of a trek. And Yagloth is down here. So, uh, okay. I mean, you've got three bosses fairly close to your starter island. That's pretty good with the Maypole. And as you can see, this Maypole is on the water. You can get out into open ocean here. It's not like locked in a bay or anything. So where's the trader? Another positive of the sea. The trader is right up here by the elder, right? Which you can walk to. It's pretty close to your Maypole. Um, again, the trader, I think, is one of the most underutilized aspects of Valheim. I'm hoping that the... Uh, Developers do something a little bit more with the trader in the future. I mean, once you get the belt, there's really not a whole hell of a lot that you need from the trader. It'd be great if there was some um, new items for the trader to make it actually um, important for you to find. Once you get the belt, you don't really need to go to the trader that much at all. Unless you're playing on a modded server, that's a totally different kettle of fish. Anyways, um... I, again, decent location for the trader, though, so you're going to get your belt soon. Um, let's take a look at the Leviathans. Not great, not horrible. Um, you've got a couple up here that you can probably get to fairly easy with your boat. It, it's these three down here that's going to be your big um, grab for, for Chitlin to get your harpoon. I think if you can farm these three, that should be enough for you to get your um, abyssal harpoon. And that's really what you need the Leviathans for. Unless you, you want to use Razor as well. But three of them should be enough. So I think that's decent. Um, it'd be great if there was some more closer. So you could have more if you wanted. But um, it is what it is. Let's take a look at Beehive. So on the starter island, you've got enough. Fairly close by. I usually, when I start a seed, I usually um, take a session and go and just try to farm as many bees as I can. Four or five should be enough. They'll provide you with honey for the rest of the game. It's a good food source. Eventually, you'll outgrow it. But, um, again, it's 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 readily available. It's an easy food store source. And you definitely want to grab at least a couple of them straight away. It'll definitely help you out in the early game. Let's take a look at the tombs and crypts. So, here we have one of the okay parts of the seed. Now... Let's get rid of the um, beehives for now. I don't want to clutter up the map too much. So, decent dark forest crypts right here. You get three of them. Then you can come down here. And then there's a couple over here that are very, very close to the edge. Um, and then, you know, obviously up north. I think that's going to be enough for you to get your circling cores, get plenty of... Um, jewels, you know, rubies, etc. for you to, to, to get that initial belt. So I think you're okay there. Um, for the sunken crypts, though, that is is a, a little different. You're going to... You, so you do have some sunken crypts here on your strip, right? This little um, strip of the swamp that you have on your starter island. You can run down here, and you've got four of them. I think that this is going to be a fairly easy strip to get through because it's so narrow here um y you know it's you don't have it's not a huge biome so i think that's positive i don't know how much iron you're going to use in your game i usually try to get through iron quickly you know obviously you need the nails but um i usually go for um silver in the mountains as, as quickly as i can i like to get out of the swamps but that's just me this bone mass over here is full of crypts which is great. The issue with this is, is it's surrounded on two sides by, by planes, right? So I can, th this is going to be a pain to get to because I can just picture you coming over here and there's a death mosquito, and you know that's the end of you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, not bad with with the crypts, not fantastic. There's a bone mass over here that's a little bit further away that's decent, and there's another. Um, more sunken crypts over here. Again, this isn't a huge distance, but you are going to have to get on a boat and get to it. I, I would probably get this bone mass myself. Anyways, what else can I show you? Troll caves. I like the troll caves because I can set up a nice port. I would put one right here so I can get to the trader easily. I can get to the elder easily. They're, they're great. You clear them out. The entrance you can box in. Uh, I mean, uh, 
yeah, enclose, and you can put a portal right in there and a bed if you want, and they'll fit, and it'll serve you well. Definitely a great uh, structure to use for uh, quick travel to the trader if one's if it's close, and this one's fairly close. Frost caves, not a lot, not horrible. You've got one on two of them really close, which are highly accessible through through the um, through the plains, right? So uh, meadows, I mean. So that's that's good. Um, I don't know how many frost caves you're gonna want to do. I don't know. You know, the the new armor set's pretty good. Um, I haven't really had a chance to uh, preview all of the items that you can build through uh, the new cave drops. I think there's a couple of them that are pretty good, but overall, from what I've seen, there's nothing there that you actually need to progress. Meaning, you can just use what's already in the game. There's no new weapon in there that's like OP or anything. At least from what I've seen initially, I could be wrong. But that's decent. You can get up there, experience the caves pretty early on if you so choose on both very close to on your starter island which is great on the motor location here there's three of them and that's that's really good too so i think that's for for, for the new caves that's pretty good uh let's take a look quickly at the dragon egg situation okay so you don't have any on the over here close by but this biome right here has enough I mean, what you want ideally is you want three very close to the motor spawn um, because it's just a pain to drag them up there, at least in my opinion. You can't drag three at a time, they're too heavy. So that's enough eggs in this motor location to, uh, that's good enough. I mean, I, again, I spend a lot of time in the mountains. That's one of my favorite biomes. Um, I, I usually skip through the swamps as quickly as possible so that for me i think is a pretty solid motor location so what else can i show you here let's see um miscellaneous runes they're okay i mean they're very good for portal locations it's great if there's one really close to the spawn you can set up your portal hub on those that's what they were initially intended for anyways that's the five stones that come out of the ground usually it's a pretty level surface in the middle that was initially meant to be portal hubs so it's great when you can find one really close to the spawn you set up your portal hub there and you're pretty much good to go um, useful runes where are the piggies so this is the one I just showed you um, on the seed there's one to the north here but overall that's two fairly close um, boar stones and you've got the the boars running around in your in your village anyways which you normally get when you first start a game um, totems let's get those and let's get rid of the dragon eggs and we'll get rid of the frost caves so we can find our buddy Yagloth so Yagloth like many of the seeds I happen to, to stumble upon with maypoles is a little bit of a challenge um, in terms of number one that's where I always struggle I've struggled in the plains for a long time this Yagloth location over here is pretty good because you've got a mists biome right here uh, again you know there's nothing in the mist now but should the update come out if they don't change the map dramatically or if you've developed the seed and you just want to continue to play on it um, that mist location is pretty good you'll be able to farm that over there um, the Yagloth down here uh, it's okay there's a dark forest biome right here so that's not too bad the problem is is neither of these Yagloths really have a good totem source I mean this one has one but uh, that could be an issue. You've got this little plains area over here, which might be worth investigating. And then you've got another even smaller one right here by the motor, which is great. I could see maybe setting up a camp somewhere over here just to farm this location right here. Okay, that would be um, how I would approach it, but you do you. Anyways, overall, my assessment of this is... Um, a little bit better than average seed. I think the starting location, the island, the 
the continent, whatever, that you start on has multiple biomes in it. it you, you don't have to get into a boat. You should be able to get all of the materials that you need throughout the game, and you never have to get on a boat. The bosses are a little spread out, but not horribly. You've got you've to find Bone Mass, and you've got to find Yagluff. The other three are within walking distance, which is good. Um, traders fairly close. Um, again, I don't think there's much use for the trader beyond the belt, but if you're playing on a modded server, that may be important. This is, I would say this is a solo seed. I don't see multiple people playing on it. I think this is a good seed for someone who wants to, you know, start the game fresh. They haven't played in a while. Um, they want a seed that's, you know, of average difficulty. I think this will provide that. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really have too much else to, to offer here on this one. I think overall, um, I don't know that I would play this seed because I have one very similar that's developed. Um, but it, again, my recommendation is, is if you're just starting Valheim and you want to get, you don't want to play in cheat mode. You just want, you know, a good starting position. This has a maypole. That's a plus. You want to get that if you can. You don't need it. Um, if you're returning to Valheim and you've, you know, reinstalled the game and you just want to check things out and you want to start over and maybe build a new fresh site, I think this is a pretty good location for that type of playthrough. Um, so I think overall I'd maybe give it a seven and a half or an eight. Definitely not the best maypole seed that I found, but it's not a horrible one either. So it's on the channel. This maypole is here as of the mountain update. So this is a current video. This should be here. Some of my older videos on seeds, every time there's an update, the maps change a little bit. The maypoles may or may not be there. I'm not sure. This one is good through, uh, I'm making this on March 8th. So it's good through the mountain, uh, through the cave update. So hopefully, I get this out before then, uh, before they update again and this becomes obsolete. We'll see. Anyways, thanks so much for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon.